Hello there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'll be looking at Dell's 11 inch 3000 series Inspiron notebook. And this is brand new, just come out. Super affordable notebook, starts at 199 US, 299 Australian, and that's around 150 pounds. But being so super affordable, is it any good? Well, let's crack on and see. So this is an 11 inch notebook and as I said it starts at 199 US and just looking at the device it doesn't look really cheap and nasty does it it's pretty cool looking it has that sort of pop art kind of look you can get it in um, blue red and this white it has a glossy top here you have the Dell logo underneath it has a matte finish you have the rubber feet there and what you'll notice is because this has no fan so there's no noise at all so considering it's so cheap it looks pretty cool if you ask me on the left hand side you have the power jack you have a HDMI USB type 3 and a micro SD card on the left hand side you have the microphone jack USB type 2 and the Kensington lock open her up and you'll be greeted by the 11.6 inch 1366 by 768 screen surrounded by a matte bezel there webcam up here microphone has a decent keyboard here it's not backlit that's one of the compromises you have the two speakers up there and a decent little trackpad here get in onto specs with the 199 dollar unit you get a dual core pentium yes and i said pentium and you only get 32 gigabytes of SSD storage. With the model I have here, you get a quad core Pentium, 128 gigabyte SSD, and four gigabytes of RAM. And this one costs about 500 Australian or 300 US. Now nothing's upgradable, so if you're gonna buy one of these, you wanna get the one with the most amount of RAM you can afford, and the most amount of storage you can afford. These are primarily just for the net, they're just for surfing the net, doing email, watching YouTube, etc. It's actually a good traveling computer if all you need is the web and the email. It's actually very good. You will see later you can actually game on it. I play football manager on it. It's not the best experience, but I'll get to that later. But primarily, this is just going to be used for the net, email, YouTube, etc. And it's not designed to do any heavy duty tasks. As I mentioned before, the keyboard's actually pretty decent. It's a bit cramped for me, but I have no problem using it. The travel's very shallow, but it's very solid. There is no flex in the keyboard or hardly any flex at all in the keyboard. And other than it being cramped, I have no problems with it. The trackpad is clunky, okay? It makes a lot of noise and it is clunky, but it does work well. It is small as well, so it is a bit on the cramped side, but all the gestures work and so on. But it definitely is a noisy, clunky trackpad to use. Speakers up here, they're front facing and they're actually pretty good. They're not that loud, but they're certainly clear, even at its highest volume. And honestly, these speakers are better than some high-end notebooks I've tested, so you won't complain about the speakers. Let's have a listen. So the screen is an 11.6 inch HD 13 by 66 times 768 anti-glare LED back display. So there's really stuff all reflections on this. It's really good in that regard. Its viewing angles are quite frankly terrible, but you would expect it on a laptop at this price point. If you get it at the right angle and you're looking at it straight on, it's actually okay. It's decent, but off angle, it's very bad but it's certainly usable at the right angle. It's not the brightest screen and it doesn't have a large color gamut, but the colors look fine. Obviously the screen doesn't have that much saturation, but for what you're using it for, just the web and so on, it's adequate without being great. I'll just give you a look at its brightness levels there. It's 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Now moving on to performance, this one has a quad core Pentium in it. For watching videos on YouTube, for answering emails, 
web surfing, it's fine. The speed's fine. You'll see the SSD here. You get 540 megabytes per second read and 135 megabytes per second write. So you're not going to be writing a whole heap of data onto this because it's got such a small amount of storage. But the read speeds are definitely decent. So, so watching YouTube, surfing the web, email, anything you're supposed to be using this laptop for, it has no problems with it all. But if you try and game on it, it's not a great experience. I played Football Manager and you can see it here. It is a bit choppy when you play it on 3D. I didn't actually expect it to play it at all. If you set it on 2D, you would have a better experience. But in regards to performance, know that you can game the most basic games like your Minecraft, Football Manager and that. But it's not a great gaming experience. You will get some slowdown. It's definitely playable, but it's not a great experience. Battery life is actually really good. I get around six or seven hours battery on this. It's not quite as good as my Chromebook. If you don't know, this is my Chromebook and you can see my kids attacked it, but um, I use that all the time for just email, web browsing and watching occasional YouTube videos on it. Great battery life, it has around 10 hours battery life, so it's more than this, you get about seven hours on this. But I could see something like this replacing my Chromebook. If I had the choice between this and my Chromebook now, I would take this. Just because it's got Windows and Windows is handier and you can install some apps on it. Whereas Chrome, where Chromebooks are very limited, you only can really basically surf the web and answer emails on a Chromebook. Whereas this one, you know, if you really wanted to, you could play a casual game or you could install GIMP and edit some photos and so on. So for me, I'd always choose something with a Windows on it instead of Chrome OS. So seeing that this is squarely in the price bracket where most Chromebooks start, I would definitely prefer this than a Chromebook. But my overall conclusion is, for the price, you're a good little piece of kit. You know, you know what you're compromising. You don't get a great screen. It's not a great performer. But if you're after a low-cost computer that's just doing web and email, like my mum could use this, I could give this to her. Battery life's decent. It does most of the things you want it to because most people just use computers for the web or email and I would have no hesitations buying it, especially over a Chromebook. So there you have it guys, there's my quick and dirty review of the 11 inch Inspiron 3000 series notebook. It's not a bad little laptop, especially for its price and it's definitely worth considering. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up guys. I've got lots more tech content coming soon, so subscribe to see all that. I'd like to thank all you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, tally-ho.